क्वेश्चन नंबर वन करण वॉक्स एट मीटर टूवर्ड्स नॉर्थ एंड देन टर्न लेफ्ट एंड वॉक्स सेवन मीटर अगेन ही टर्न्स टू राइट एंड वॉक्स थ्री मीटर फाइनली ही टर्न्स राइट एंड वॉक्स सेवन मीटर इन विच डायरेक्शन इज ही नाउ विद रेस्पेक्ट टू द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट फर्स्ट वी ड्रा This is north, south, east, and west. So current walks eight meter towards north. Let us assume this is the starting point. So if we walks eight meter towards north, means this is north side eight kilometer, and then turn left and walk seven meter. So which is this left side? This is left side, and he walks seven meter. Again, he turns to right and walks three meter. So, which is his right? Yes, this is the right, and he walks three meter. Finally, he turns right and walks seven meter. Finally, he turns right and walks seven meter. Means again, he would be here. This is seven meter, and this is also seven meter. So, in which direction is he now with respect to the starting point? so this is the position where he is finally standing so with respect to the starting point he is at the north right this is the starting point so with respect to the starting point he is in the north side hence option north is the right answer Question number two. Some letters are numbered one, two, three, four, five, and six as given. Arrange the letters to form a meaningful English word, and select the correct option. So this is the given jumble letters. We have to make it into a meaningful English word. Is yes, if we unscramble this, we'll get the letter. It is ticket. T i c k e t. Is yes, the T is numbered as either two or six. You can. Next, the I is coded as four, where C is a numbered as one, and K is five, and E is numbered as three, and two. I again T is numbered as two or six. So let's check it. The option yes, two four one five. Either it would be your answer would be two four one five three six or six four one five three two. So which is the right answer? Yes, two four one five three six is the right answer. Option C is the right answer. Question number four: If pen is called bag, bag is called table, table is called book, and book is called blackboard, then we can put our books in dash. Yes, we'll put our bags in the bag, but here the bag is called table, right? Hence, we can put our bags in table. Option A is the right answer. Question number five. Which of the following options will be obtained 
after rotating the given figure four one by four turns to the right. So first, we'll find out what is the total angle for a circle for one rotation. Yes, it is three sixty degree, right? So if I rotate for one turn, the angle is three sixty degree. So what will happen? If we rotate the figure for four times, yes, again it will retain to the same position. That means, again it will retain to the original position after you turns to the figure for four times whole rotation, right? But we need to find what is one by four of turns. That means, what is one by four of three sixty degree? One by four of three sixty degree is nothing but it's ninety degree, right? Then the figure will rotate. How it will rotate? Let's draw for example. The figure is divided into four halves. This is one by four. This is one by four, and this is one by four. This is one by four. Right. So we need only one one by four turns, which means this is this is the required angle, right? So if we rotate, for example, the M is at the this position. If we rotate to the one by four turns, this M will become this side, right? So now I'll show you. Yes. So this is the circle. Yes, if we rotate this M, if we rotate the figure to one by four turns, right means this M will be placed here. Then S will come to the next one by four, then T will go to the next one by four, and R will be placed here. Right. So this is the required answer. And one more thing, we have to rotate the figure to the right. And right it means which means this is the clockwise direction we have to rotate. Right. So this is the required answer. Hence, option B is the right answer. Question number six. There is a certain relationship between the pair of letters on the either side of colon. Establish the relationship of the left pair and find the missing term. So this is the given relationship. We have to find what is the rule has been followed in the left hand side. So for this question, first we will write the alphabets from A to Z. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. So we'll find out the relationship between the corresponding letters. That is M and P and T and R, R and T. Right. So what is the relationship between the M and P? The letter P is the third letter from the M. Letter P is third letter from M. So if we move forward, means we'll put the sign plus and number plus three. Then T and R. T and R means the letter R is minus two, which is a backward from the letter T. So if it is a backward, means we'll put the sign minus two for our understanding purpose only. It is. Then what is R and T? Again, the letter T is. The second letter from R, so we'll put it is going forward. No, so we'll put plus two. So this is the uh, rule has been followed. Plus three, minus two, and plus two. So in the same way, we have to follow for the letters X, I, J. Right, but you must be careful because they have asked this uh, first half. So you have to think in the reverse order. X means if you move, if you if the what is the letter which is. Uh, Uh, what is the letter which is uh, third from the X means it will be totally wrong. If you choose like this, it will be wrong, right? So we have to think in the reverse order. The letter X is third from the letter U. Can understand? I think so. Plus three. Now we will understand. The letter X is third from the letter U. So it must be the first letter must be U. The next letter means minus two for I. This is I know. So we have to draw like this. From K only the letter I is second letter from K and in the backward side, so we will get minus two. So the second letter must be K. Then again J. J means the J the letter J is second from the letter H in the forward direction. In the forward direction, so H is plus two. So the required answer is U K H. Option D is the right answer. Question number seven: How many squares are formed in the given figure? Let's start counting. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन एलेवन टवेल्व थर्टीन एंड दिस इज फोर्टीन एंड दिस बिग स्क्वायर इज अ फिफ्टीन अगेन दिस इज सिक्सटीन एंड दिस इज सेवनटीन अगेन दिस स्क्वायर इज एटीन एंड दिस स्क्वायर इज नाइनटीन सो टी वी हैव नाइनटीन स्क्वायर्स एंड ऑप्शन ए इज अ राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट If Punit went to park every day in March 20xx except the dates which are multiples of 3 then for how many days did he go to the park so this is a given calendar except the dates which are multiples of 3 so first we'll strike out the multiples of 3 so 3 6 9 12 15 then it would be yes it is 18 and 21 24 Twenty-seven and thirty. <coughs> right. So then, for how many days did he go to the park? So let's start noting: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one days. Hence, option A is the right answer. And if you want to go in another method, easiest method means it's very simple. can see as you, as you can see here totally 31 days right totally we have 31 days in this 31 days how many dates are multiples of 3 it's obviously it's obviously 10 days are there correct 10 days uh, 10 days means 10 dates will be will be numbered as multiples of 3 for like this 3 6 and 9 15 18 and so on till 30 Right, so how many multiples of uh, three dates are here? It's totally ten days. So in the month of March, we have thirty-one days. We have to subtract ten days from this. The remaining days will be twenty-one days. So this is the another method you can easily find out. Right. So hence option A is the right answer. Question number nine. Find the missing number. We have to find this question mark. So before this, we have to find out what does the rule has been followed between these two these numbers. So eight into three is twenty-four plus three is equal to twenty-seven. Then twenty-seven into three is equal to eighty-one. Again, we have to add this with three so that we'll get eighty-four. Again, eighty-four into three so we'll get two fifty-two. So we'll add this with three so that we'll get two fifty-five. So same we have to follow for two fifty five into three yes we'll get seven sixty five plus three we'll get this seven sixty five so this is the required answer right so the question mark is option C seven sixty five so what is the rule has been followed the first number is multiplied with the three and the the answer which you are getting is again you have to add with this number three so you can find this. The series twenty seven, twenty four, twenty two, fifty eight, and seven sixty three, seven sixty eight. If you want to check, recheck again. You can multiply this seven sixty eight into three for your correction for your verification purpose. If you want to check, means you can is can check so that you will get two three zero four. Again, if you add this with three, yes, you will get the through two three zero seven. And the record answer is option C seven sixty eight. Question number ten: If Mohit is shorter than Sagil, but taller than Rohit, Rishi is the tallest. Anuj is shorter than Sagil, but taller than Mohit. Who is the shortest? Is yes, Mohit is shorter than Sagil means Sagil is taller than Mohit, but Mohit is taller than Rohit. So we'll write like this. Then Rishi is the tallest. Means Rishi is the tallest among all uh, among the all. So Rishi is the tallest. Anuj is shorter than Shagal. Means sh again, Shagal is taller than Anuj, right? And Anuj is taller than Mohit. Right. This is the given question. So who is the shortest? Yes. Already it is given. We rearrange this uh, equation like this. Uh, already it is given. Rishi is the tallest. So Rishi is the tallest, 
Ensure Agil is taller than Anuj and Mogit, but Rohit is the shorter than Mogit, right? So from the this is the final equations. So from the given equations, who is the shortest? Yes, obviously Rohit is the tallest. Hence option C is the right answer. Question number eleven. Refer to the given relationship based on body coverings and select the option which satisfies the same relationship. So, your relationship is given here Arctic fox, a salmon, and parakeet. So, what is Arctic fox? Yes, it's an animal, and salmon is a fish, aquatic animal, and parakeet is a bird. So, the same relationship we have to find out from the given option. Yes, you can see option C mink. It is also a fox, which is um, his its body is covered with full of fur, and sardine. It's also a aquatic uh, animal. Uh, it's a fish. It's a kind of fish, and penguin is a bird. Right. Hence, option C is the right answer for this question. Question number twelve. Refer to the given conversation among three friends. So first, we'll uh, what is the question? First, we read the question. So, which of these children made a correct statement? So, Kuniga says, Dentine is the hard, shiny substance that covers the crown of the tooth. No, it's enamel. It's enamel. So, the statement by Kuniga is false. Then, there are four canines, two each in the upper and lower jaw, which help in tearing food. Yes, we have four canines it is uh, true only so the priyanka statement is true then rajan there are total six premolars that help in grinding and crushing the food yes we have six premolars it's correct only but it is not for grinding and crushing right premolars is used for chew and grinding for it is used for chewing and grinding right so hence uh, the statement made by Rajan is also wrong. So, which is uh, which children made a correct statement? Yes, it's a Priyanka only option. B is the right answer. Question number 13. Study the given flow chart and identify P, Q, R, S, and T. But it's something is uh, mistaken here. I think uh, there is uh, no word like T. So, we are going to find what is P, Q, R, and S. Yes. So, this is the flow chart. Just go through the flow chart first and and just read the option right first you have to go, go through the flow chart and then you have to read the option again you have to come into the you have to come to the flow chart right then only you will understand this question so first let us take the animal p we are going to have uh, find the animal p because in option p is uh, given right first option is p so p is an animal yes that animal p has a flipper yes that animal is a cold blooded animal yes if it so means then the animal is p so coming to just go through the option p is a fish or p is a tortoise or p is a ostrich or p is a sea turtle yes fish don't have flippers and ostrich don't have a flippers but tortoise and sea turtle has flippers so your answer could be either tortoise or sea turtle that we don't know so for this just move on to the option uh, sorry uh, next move on to the uh, letter q so that we will find out the answer very easily then again q is an animal so you, so every uh, letter you have to uh, go through the flow chart from the first you have to start then only you will understand the question you will get the answer very easily so q is an animal yes q is an animal yes and that animal has a flipper yes it has a flipper but that animal is not a cold blooded animal that means what so just go through the option because we are going to check only option b and d so check with q polar bear and penguin so among these two which animal has a flipper yes it's a penguin so here itself you can decide option b is also out of form from the option so finally your answer is d only but you have to go through all the options whether it is correct or not for your verification purpose right so q is a penguin because penguin has a flipper but it is a warm blooded animal so q must be penguin then we are going to find what is r so r is an animal yes but that animal r has no flippers 
but it has legs but it has a six legs so which animal has six legs it's it's a grasshopper it is also correct then yes yes is an animal yes but it don't have any flippers on its body on its body but and it has legs no snake do not have legs hence it is snake so finally if you find out the answer this is the way how to uh, solve the flow chart problem like this is the way how to solve check with the option and go through the flow chart and vice versa you can do you can easily find out the answer option d is the right answer for this question question number 14 refer to the given figure representing a water cycle and its different process labeled as p q r and s so which of the following statement is correct regarding it so option a process p is responsible for the formation of dew on humid cold rights so what is p here it's evaporation so the statement uh, a is wrong next process q does not involve any change in state of water no what is uh, process q yes it is a condensation right so what is condensation yes here the water vapor in the air will change into a liquid water in the form of clouds so here the here here the state of water is changing no this is also wrong next excess process of r can sometimes lead to draft what is r here r is it is raining right that means here you can see uh, the collection the process uh, is collection here so the excess process of uh, collection will takes place to lead to uh, will takes place it cause a draft no it will not cause a draft right so it is also wrong then process yes is a form of precipitation that takes place at very low temperature yes exactly so this is the precipitation this correct only and it takes place when it where the temperature is very low the precipitation will takes place right so option d is the right answer question number 15 how many diseases given in the box spread from contaminated food and water yes um the disease spread through contaminated food and water is diarrhea and cholera and dengue so option c 3 is the right answer question number 16 select the correct statement regarding natural resources they can never be exhausted they are obtained from soil only wind energy is a renewable natural resources and coal is not a natural resource yes option c wind energy is a renewable natural resources is a correct statement regarding natural resources option c is the right answer question number 17 saumya observes a full moon on 8th may at night which of the following phases of moon will she most likely observe on 22nd may so okay on 8th may it is a full moon day it is a full moon day so on 22nd may which means from 8th may to 22nd may there is a 15 days are there so after 15 days of full moon day it must be a new moon day right hence option c is the right answer question number 18 the rapid flow of a snow down a hill or mountain side is called options are tsunami avalanche snowfall and typhoon yes the rapid flow of snow down from a hill or mountain side is called as it's avalanche option b is the right answer question number 19 unscramble the given options to select the odd one out on the basis of types of diseases so first we'll unscramble the letters yes this is a uh, dengue and it is very very then option c is goiter the last one is curve scurvy right so which one is odd one out yes beriberi and goiter and scurvy all are deficiency diseases all are deficiency diseases and whereas dengue is a disease which is come from coming from a contaminated water or 
Hence option A is the right answer for this question. Question number 20. Which is the Hindi name of the coldest planet of our solar system? So which is the coldest planet? Yes, it is Uranus. So what is the name of Uranus in Hindi? It's Arun. Option D is the right answer. Question number 21. One night, Navika watched a constellation in the sky over a period of several hours. She found that the constellation seemed to move across the sky. Which of these can explain this? Yes, we all know why the constellation moves across the sky. Yes, because the earth rotates on its axis. So, which, is, uh, which of the options will explain this statement? Yes, as the earth rotates, constellations seem to move. Option B is the right answer. Question number 22. In which of these actions work is not said to be done? Options are hammering a nail into the wall, hitting a ball with a bat, holding, holding a bucket of water and cutting a paper. So in all options A, B and D, we are doing or we are giving us some force on a particular object and the object is, uh, is moving or the position of the object must, must be is displacing from one place to another, right? So hammering a nail, we are giving a force and the nail is moving in, in the direction of the force. And hitting a ball, we are giving a force on the ball and the ball is moving in the direction of the force. Whereas cutting a paper, we are giving a force on the scissor and, and we are cutting the paper in the direction of the force which we are giving. Whereas holding a bucket of water, there is a no force is applying on the particular object, right? So, the where the work is not said to be done? Yes, in holding a bucket of water. Option C is the right answer. Question number 23. Select the option that correctly gives the example of physical and chemical changes. Option A, tearing of paper. Yes, tearing of paper is a physical change and breaking of glass. No, breaking of glass is also a physical change because when you break the glass, again it's still a glass only. It did not change into another substance. Right, so breaking a glass is a physical change. It's not a chemical change. So option A is also wrong. Then banning of a paper, it's, uh, we all know banning of a paper is a chemical change. Option B is also wrong and resting of iron, it is also a chemical change. So no need to check the rest of the option. Here itself it is wrong, no? so no need to check the second part. So resting of iron is a chemical change. Whereas formation of ice, yes, from liquid to solid. Right, so this is a physical change and it is correct. So for, for this, you have to check the next part. Yes, burning of wood, yes, burning of a substance is a chemical change only. Hence, option D is the right answer. Question number 24. Take a glass and insert it without tilting into a tub containing water. What will you observe? Options are level of water in the tub will go down. Water will enter into the glass. Water will not enter into the glass. Air bubbles will be absorbed in water. So the key word is without tilting. So we are going to keep the glass in the form of inverted manner. Right, so we are going to insert the glass in the form of inverted manner in the tub of water. So when we do this experiment, what will happen? Water will not enter into the glass. Why? Because already some air is occupied in the glass. No, so that will then that um, air which is occupied in the glass will not I uh, will will not allow the water to enter into it. Right. So this is the reason why the why the water will not enter into the glass because of the air occupied in the glass. Option C is the right answer. Question number 25. Read the given statement and correct them by replacing the italicized words with the correct option. The first statement, conglomerate, sorry, conglomerate is an igneous rock that forms when magma slowly cools, cools down beneath the earth's surface. Then we have to find what is conglomerate. Then statement, slate is a sedimentary rock that is formed of clay particles that have been hardened together under high pressure. So which a rock, right, which type of rock um, will form when magma slowly cool, cools down beneath their surface? It's a granite. And which sedimentary rock is formed of clay particles? Yes, it's a shale. So hence option D is the right answer. Question number 26. Study the given graph and answer the following questions. So this is the graph. 
and the x-axis uh, which represents you know this uh, horizontal line represents the name of the digestive organs and this uh, vertical line is uh, denotes the length of the digestive organ but we, do, we uh, but we don't know what is pq r and s right so the question is which digestive organ is involved in passing digested food into the blood so which digestive organ is it's a small intestine right it's a small intestine so what is the length of the small intestine yes it is the it is the longest digestive organ we all know right hence q must be the small intestine so length wise the small intestine is the longest right hence option d is the right answer question number 27 Select the odd one out. So all the picture which is given here are a simple machines. So all are simple machines only. But we have to find out what is the odd one out. Yes, Caesar. You know Caesar is a first class liver, right? Caesar is a first class liver. Whereas all the option A, B, and C all are second class liver. All are second class liver. Hence, option D is the odd one out here. Question number twenty-eight. Cross out every alternate letter, starting from the first one, and select the option which gives the name of a fiber that is main mat. So, cross out every alternate letter, starting from the first. We have to strike out. So, alternate letter means like this. So what is the remaining uh, letters? If we arrange, we'll get it as a cotton. So in the same way, we have to do this for option B also. Starting from the first letter, we have to strike out all the alternate letters. Yes, so that we are getting the word wool. The next one is yes, it is silk. Then the last one. It's it's a nylon. Whereas cotton, wool, and silk are a it's a natural fiber. Whereas nylon is a man-made fiber. Hence, option D is the right answer. Question number twenty-nine. Select the correct option to fill in the blanks in the following paragraph. Dash is stored in the interior of the earth in short of a large reservoir called dash chamber. So you have to first to find out what is one. So if you don't know, just go through the option first, so that we will get an idea. So one must be either uh, lava or mag magma, right? So which is the correct answer? Yes, we know magma is uh, present beneath the earth's surface and under the volcano. So one must be magma, right? So option A and D is uh, totally wrong because one cannot be lava. One must be a uh, uh, one can be magma only, right? So magma is stored. Now you fill up fill up the question. Magma is stored in the interior of the earth, in short of large reservoir called. Again, you have to substitute the word magma, right? Called magma chamber. When the pressure in the magma chamber builds up, the magma escapes out through a dash. So the magma escapes through a vent. Magma escapes through a vent. So in just to go through the option. What is two? We have the final options B and C, so our answer must be either B or C. Now we check the uh, second fill up, vent or crater. Yes, we know the magma escapes out through a small vent, so vent must be the answer. So crater is wrong. So now itself we got the answer is B is the right answer. Anyway, you have to go through, you have to read the whole paragraph and substitute all the options so that you will find out whether whether it is the exact answer or not. Right? Now we'll. Find out what is three. Next, what is three here? Yes, it's lava. Yes, the lava cools down and solidifies to form a volcanic mountain that takes thousands of years to form. The hollow top of the volcanic mountain is a bowl-shaped structure called what? It's a crater. What is crater? It's nothing but a big hollow, right? Yes. So now we got the answer. So this is the way how to choose. So option B is the right answer. Question number thirty. Which of the following can lead to flood, tsunami, and landslide? Options are forest fire, drought, earthquake, and famine. Option C, earthquake, is the right answer. Question number thirty-one. 
Read the following statement and select the option that correctly identifies them as true and false. Statement 1. Moon does not gravity. False. Moon has some gravity. Right. But it has some weaker gravity when compared to the Earth's gravity. Why? Because moon has less mass. Moon has less mass when compared to the Earth. So, it has some gravity, but we can't say there is a zero gravity in the moon. It has a, some weaker, right? It has some weaker gravity when compared to the Earth's gravity. So, the statement is false. Next, Apollo 11 was the first manned spacecraft to, to land on the moon on 20th July 1969. It's, it is true. Uranus is blue in color due to the presence of helium gas in its atmosphere. Yes, Uranus is in blue color and this planet contains some helium glaze. But not because of the, this helium glaze only that Uranus is uh, shining in blue color. No, because of methane gas. Because of methane gas only that Uranus is a uh, blue color. So, hence this statement also false. Then, Mercury takes about 88 days to complete uh, one revolution around the sun. Yes, which is the fastest uh, a planet which rotate the uh, sun in 88 days right hence option and uh, fourth one also true statement it is also correct hence false true false true yes option d is a right answer question number 32 refer to the given figure and select the correct statement regarding it some options are given it consists of 12 small bones its first bone is called atlas it gives protection to car protection to heart ball and the socket joints are present between its bones right so first what is the picture it, it is yes it is a spinal cord right the given uh, the given figure is a spinal cord so what is the true statement true correct statement about spinal cord yes it is its first bone is called atlas is the correct statement regarding the spinal cord Hence, option B is the right answer. Question number 33. A potted plant was kept in dark room for 2 to 3 days. Then this potted plant was used for an experimental setup and was kept in the sunlight for a few days as shown in the figure. Yes, what will happen if you keep the potted plant in a dark room? Yes, there will be no sunlight. So, if there is a no sunlight mean there will be no photosynthesis will be taken place and that particular plant can't able to was unable to prepare the food. Right. So now the potted plant is arranged like this. Is one of the leaf is uh, clipped with a, a dark paper on both sides, right? And one of the leaf is covered with a polythene cover, and some leaves are kept as it is. And it is uh, been already watered with a well watered plant. So which of the following statements are correct regarding this experiment? Iodine solution will turn blue black when put on the covered part of leaf X. No iodine. Um, Solutions will not turn blue black. It will remain as, as such on the leaf. Why? Because that particular part X is not exposed to the sunlight. So there will be uh, no pro no photosynthesis has been taken place. So there will be no starch will be produced on the leaf. So if there is a starch only, that iodine solution will change the color from blue to black. Sorry, it will turn from uh, turn blue to blue black color. Right. So option one is also wrong. Then iodine solution will remain as such when put on the leaf Z. This is also wrong because the leaf is already the part, uh, already the leaf Z is exposed to the sunlight. So obviously the photosynthesis has been taken place and the starch will be produced on the leaf, right? So when you put the iodine solution on the leaf, it will change the color to blue black color. It shows the presence of starch on the leaf. So two is also wrong. Then three, third one. Iodine solution will remain as such when put on the part of the leaf X covered with the dark paper. Yes, because a particular part has not been exposed to the sunlight. So, there is, uh, um, there, there, has, there, there will be no photosynthesis, photosynthesis has been taken place. So, the iodine solution will remain as such on the particular part of the leaf X. So, this is correct. So, polythene around leaf Y will show water droplets. Why water droplet has been formed on that particular uh, leaf? Why? Yes, because due to the transpiration. Why? Because the water drops will appear inside the polythene because uh, due to some loss of water from this tomato. Right. 
so this uh, shows the transpiration of the leaf right so this is also right only hence option c is a right answer question number 34 konark sun temple is located in options odisha kerala rajasthan jammu and kashmir so this temple is located in odisha option a is the right answer which of the following graph shows the effect of large amount of oil spill in the water body on the life of fish the time the p represents the time at which oil spill occurred option a is the right answer this graph shows the large amount of oil has been uh, spilled in the water body and affect the life of the fish for a long period time it shows the long period of time the water has been spilled on the water body right hence option a is the right answer question number 36 which joints are primarily involved while performing following accents the first one bending of forearm so the bending of forearm is due to the hinge joint is due to hinge joint and moving arm in a circle way so this is due to the ball and a socket joint ball and a socket and the turning head from side to side turning the head to side to side yes this is because of pivot joint so which allows the allows the head to move back and forth right pivot joint so our answer is hinge ball and socket joint and pivot joint so which is the right answer yes option d is the right answer question number 37 study the given classification table and identify p q and r reproduction in plants uh, classification table is uh, given here and in what way the reproduction of plants has been taken place by stem or by leaves or by roots and some example has been given here uh, reproduction of uh, reproduction of roots uh, root uh, sorry rose is taken place by stem and reproduction of uh, a uh, brophyllum it's take, uh, taken place by leaves that means what by cutting the leaves the reproduction has been taken place right and by reproduction of plants has been taken in sweet potato by roots right so we have to find out what is p and what is q and what is r so for this type of question you have to select the answer from the option only first go through p or q or anything anywhere you can start whichever uh, whichever option is uh, very uh, very familiar with you if suppose you don't know what is uh, behania what is dakhiliya if suppose you don't know what is the name itself if you don't know means whichever the answer you know very well from there you just start then only you can easily solve this question for example i am going through i am going through the option first p so what is p banana how what is the reproduction part of banana yes it's a stem and reproduction part of sugarcane is also stem but for radis it seeds the reproduction taken place by seeds and for onion it's a vegetative propagation so right so the question is asked for um for a uh, reproduction of plants by stem is uh, which plant is banana or sugarcane that we don't know which is the correct answer so c and d is wrong because radish and onion uh, the onions are not reproduced in the part of stem so we'll leave it here itself so we have the option only a and b right so banana or sugar cane then we'll go on to uh, next uh, letter q brophyllum begonia yes the begonia the reproduction part of begonia is leaves yes it is correct only then you just go through check and the rest of the option also you can check no problem dagilia no dagilia is uh, the reproduction part of dagilia is from root it's from root so we will strike out here itself no need to check next what is r now you can see three options are left out only one is uh, sorry three options are uh, we have uh, it's out of form so we have left only one option says option a so it must be your answer for this you have to check the rest of the option r what is dagilia yes dagilia is a plant which is reproduced by by the part root so option a is the right answer so this is the way how to follow i am starting i have started my options from p you can also start from q r r whichever the 
a name you are familiar from there you just start then only you can easily strike out which options will not come right so this is the time saving method yeah this you have to uh, have to follow this kind of uh, um, rules or you can you have to follow this way only then you can easily solve your answer then you will get the correct answer in a uh, certain uh, in a short time right hence option a is the right answer question number 38 study the given figure of soil profile and select the correct statement options are layer q has water and very less amount of organic matter and option b plants obtain nutrients from layer r what is layer r here it's a drainage area it's a drainage layer so where the plant cannot obtain nutrients for growing purpose right so this is a drainage area so this statement is wrong and layer p is a most of a most infertile area no this is this particular area is a most fertile area hence option c is also wrong then roots of plants always grow till layer r no it cannot uh, grow till planets because this is a drainage area uh, up till uh, till the place r roots of plant will not grow till the layer r right hence option d is also wrong so then which is the correct answer yes this particular part is a protection layer this is a protection layer where layer q has some water and very less amount of organic matter it is uh, this is the correct statement regarding the soil profile hence option a is the right answer question number 39 match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option from the given quotes column 1 plant in which leaf is modified into spine that is cactus that is cactus then plant has a spongy body filled with air yes it is a duck weed so for p it is 3 and for q it is 1 then plant in which leaves uh, trap insect yes it is a pitcher plant that we all know then plant with edible leaf is, is a lettuce it is 2 so which option is correct yes option d is a correct answer question number 40 Rohit was asked to group materials on the basis of their ability to pass light through them. By mistake, he made one wrong group. Identify the wrong group and select the correct option. Option E: glass, water, air. Yes, glass, water, air. The light, the light will pass through glass, water, air. Hence, these three are transparent. Sir, transparent. And mirror, wood, aluminium sheet. mirror wood and aluminum sheet the light will not able to pass hence it is called as a opaque object right it is called a opaque object these are whereas in option c frosted glass and butter paper these are these are two are it's a translucent which means what is yes, some light will can some light will pass through this little bit light can pass through frosted glass and butter paper which means a translucent whereas a wooden door it's a opaque object so here rohit had a mistake on grouping the materials on the basis of their ability to pass light right and option c is the right answer then we'll check the rest of the option d is iron almira tin can and ceramic plate these three are opaque object a light cannot pass through these object called opaque hence option c is the right question number 41 which of the following statements is incorrect options are quartz mica silica and sand are some examples of non metallic minerals yes it is correct option b iron is a metallic mineral obtained from its ore called hematite it is also correct coal and crude oil are energy minerals yes it is true statement diesel petrol kerosene wax and lubricants are derived from coal no diesel petrol kerosene are derived from a it's a petroleum product it is derived from petroleum Hence, option D is the incorrect statement. So, option D is a correct answer for this question. Question number forty-two. Refer to the given food app and select the correct statement. And this is the given food app. So, go through this food app uh, very carefully. Read it once, uh, twice, more than twice. You read so that you will understand what is the food food app. It says. 
options are a if the population of the owl decreases then the population of the plant will also decrease so what is plant here yes plant is a producer right plant is a producer whereas a squirrel insect and rabbit are a primary consumers right whereas the mouse and the frog these two are the frog and you can say snake also it's a secondary consumer and fox and owl are territory consumer right okay if the population of the owl decreases what will happen if the population of the owl decreases whether it will uh, it will cause any changes in the, in the population of plant it doesn't affect when the population of the owl decreases it won't uh, it won't affect the population of the plant that is uh, right so the statement is totally wrong then b if the population of the frog increases then the population of the squirrel will answer, will increases how squirrel is a here in this given figure the squirrel is a, um, a primary consumer whereas frog is a secondary consumer so what will happen if the frog increases yes when the frog the population of the frog increases it will control the insect population what will happen if the population of frog increases it will control the insect population so when uh, when the insect population is decreases what will happen uh, the producer the plant the product the production of plant that means the population of the plant will increases and the squirrel have a uh, squirrel can feed more more plant right yes when the population of the plant increases then the population of the squirrel also increases so option b is the right answer so uh, we'll check out the rest of the option also there are four herbivores in this fed what is herbivores uh, an animal can eat only a plant plant okay so yes a squirrel and rabbit are both only two are herbivores but it is given four herbivores so c is also wrong then there is only one top carnivore in this food web no we have two territory consumer one is fox and another one is owl so totally uh, yes we have two territory consumer top carnivore right so this is wrong so finally option b is the right answer population of the frog increases so the population of the squirrel increases why because it's because of the, the when the population of the frog increases it will control the insect population so this is the main reason the, of the population of the squirrel has been increasing right option p is the right answer question number 43 radhika was asked to list down some rabi crops by mistake she included some karif crops also in her list as shown in the given box so this is the box so first you have to classify what is uh, to classify the rabi and karif so that you can easily find out the answer is uh, ra wheat is a ra is a rabi crops whereas maize and rice is a um, karif and gram is a rabi crops and mustard is also rabi crops then barley is also rabi and jowar is a karif crops right so select the rabi crops from the given list so option 1 yes maize is a karif so option a is also wrong and then option b yes jowar is a karif it is also wrong then rice is also a karif so this option is also wrong so wheat gram mustard barley all the all these four are rabi crops hence option d is the right answer question number 44 study the given table and identify materials what is x y and z so the characteristics of the materials x y z is given here given here conductor of electricity uh bay it will bends or it will absorb the water so first x y and z it's uh, your choice you can start from anywhere you can go for the x or a y z which answer you know you are very familiar with the answer from there you, you just start right it's not up to you I, I, every time you have to start with the x x no not like this you can start from x or y z you can start anywhere no problem but i'm going to start from x only sponge we have to check we have to take we for this type of question you have to take the answer options uh, you have to start from the option only then only you can easily uh, solve the question so first let us assume x the material is a sponge sponge which uh, sponge is a conductor of electricity it is given yes sponge is not a conductor because it is a insulator so it is also correct according to the option e sponge is not a conductor it is also correct then then we have to check the rest sponge will bend uh, yes sponge will bend but sponge it, it is given at the sponge 
uh, the sponge is uh, does not absorb water no the sponge will observe water so you can see x sponge is wrong because the characteristics of of a, one of the characteristics of sponge is is wrong here so option a is out of form don't need no need to check what is y and z then again balloon balloon is a conductor of electricity no so it is correct with the characteristics and balloon will bends yes balloon will absorb water no so balloon the characteristics of balloon is is correct in all the three statement so so we have to check b then rest of the option also we will finish it off copper wire copper wire will is a conductor but it is given copper wire is not a conductor oh, so no need to check again whether it will bend whether it will absorb water no need to check one if one characteristics of a material is wrong so no need to check the rest of the characteristics so option c is also out of form then cotton sheet so what is cotton sheet cotton sheet is a conductor of electricity yes cotton sheet is a insulator so it is also according to the given example it is correct then cotton sheet will bend yes but cotton sheet will absorb water but it is given it does not absorb so the one of the characteristics wrong no so option d is also wrong so finally here itself we got the answer option b is a right so for example if you have doubt means you have to recheck with the options let's take copper wire which means if the material y is a copper wire means you have to check the characteristics of copper wire copper wire is a conductor copper wire can bend copper wire copper wire is bends and copper wire uh, will not absorb water so the characteristics of copper wire is also correct here then jute bag if the material z is a jute bag means yes jute bag will not uh, conduct electricity correct and jute bag can bend and jute bag will absorb water so here itself answer is correct only so option b is a correct so i have started with the x if you if you want to start from y you can you can uh, go with y or you can go with a z it's all up to you so whichever the answer you are familiar from there you start right then when you will you can get the answer so option b is a right answer for this question number 45 select the correct match so option a uh, it looks like a dandelion uh, uh, seeds or fruit right so dandelion the, the way of uh, the mode of dispersal of dandelion uh, seeds is uh, through a wind so it is wrong so this is for wind and this looks like a lotus plant so the the dispersal the mode of dispersal of seeds of lotus taken place uh, through uh, water right yes it looks like some uh, fruit i don't know which is what is uh, 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 it is i think it is a fruit only so this fruit contains some nuts a uh, seeds inside the fruit right so it can be the mode of dispersal of this type of fruit like cherry or tomato or blackberry whatever it is so the mode of dispersal of these seeds through animal only so this is the correct and yes this is uh, uh, this is some seeds or fruit okay so the but the mode of dispersal of this uh, particular seed is through a uh, explosion or bursting right so uh, we have to select the correct match hence option c is the right of right answer the next section is achieve a section question number 46 the given diagram shows a tube with the four similar drops of wax attached to position p q r and s and this is the metal tube saurabh heated the metal tube at one point at one point and recorded the time taken for the drops of wax to melt as shown in the given table so the heated metal tube at one point means z y x w so this is the point where he heated that we have to find out so this is the position of wax drops position of wax drops p it took 40 seconds to melt q took 36 to melt and r takes 22 seconds and s takes 26 uh, seconds so based on the above results at which point w x y or z did sour up heat the metal tube it's a very simple question so which wax had take a very less time to melt yes it's obviously or the wax r takes only the 22 seconds to melt so he must have 
he must have heated that metal tube at the point x and option c is the right answer question number 47 swati planted plants p q and r in her field as shown in the picture 1 she left the field untouched for one month after one month what she saw is shown in the picture 2 so this is the picture after one month the question is which of these plants is likely to have its seeds dispersed by an animal so what type of seeds will dispersed by an animal is yes. if the plant has a seeds in the form of spine like structure it will get stuck into the fur of the animal or or else uh, some plant seeds of the plants can be swallowed by a birds or animals along with the fruits so this is the cause why the why the seeds are dispersing by an animal so now check out the picture too you can see the plant p is planted here only but the seeds of the plant is dispersed by wind so that it is it is grown some wa- some what distance it takes some what distance or some far away from the original plant it is has been grown so this plant a p must be dispersed through a wind and you take r you can see this is the original plant but the the seeds of the plant has been grown very near by very closest to the original plant means the seeds of the plant are must be exploded exploded means what the, the seeds are bursting so when it bursted the seeds will be fell down with the nearest place of the original plant so r the plant r must be uh, must be a dis, uh, must be dispersed through by explosion or bursting next the rest of the option is q you can see the plant uh, the plant q the seeds of the plant q must be dispersed through animal why because the plant q is uh, grown in very random places in random places it has been grown in the field so it shows that uh, the particular seeds are dispersed through animals like anywhere it kind of uh, i it through a birds or it kind of any animals right hence option b is the right answer question number 48 refer to the given figure of internal structure of earth and select the correct statement so first we will find out what is p q r and s p is a inner core and q is a outer core where r is a mantle s yes, is the crest of the earth so now we'll read the options r is denser than q what is r mantle no mantle is not denser than q whereas core is as twicely twicely denser than the mantle so option a is wrong b the upper part of mantle is made up of solid rocks and lower part consists of molten rocks option b is right then we'll read out that uh, remaining option p remains means what its inner core remains in liquid state as it is under extreme temperature and pressure though the inner core is uh, under extreme temperature and pressure but the inner core is a very solid only right the inner core is solid though it has a high pressure and temperature so p remains in solid liquid state is totally wrong then yes is the thickest layer of the earth what is yes here crust no core is the thickest layer of the earth and where s which means crust is the thinnest part of the earth thinnest layer of the earth so yes is also wrong so option b is the final answer question number 49 metal strips p and q are joined together to form a bimetallic strip as shown in the figure so the metal p and q are joined together to form a bimetallic right so if metal p expands more than metal q on heating then which of the following options correctly shows the shape of bimetallic strip after heating so what will happen right what will happen when you heat the bimetallic strip yes the metallic strip will bend in the form of arc in the form of arc it will bend like this right 
with more expandable metal outside more expandable metal outside this is the way it will bend so which of which which uh, options correctly shows the shape of bimetallic after heating so it must be uh, the metal strip must be bent so either option a or b so the metal uh, p is placed over the metal q hence option a is the right answer right so what will happen when you uh, heating the bimetallic strip it will bend in the form of an arc with more expandable expandable metal outside right hence option a is the right answer question number 50 study the given venn diagram and select the correct option so this is the venn diagram just go through the venn diagram in this some alphabets are given here x y z and w so this rep this letters are represents the animals that particular animal x if I, if suppose if you take the animal x means that animal should breathe through lungs and it must have a hollow bones and if the animal y means that animal should be a cold blooded animal and it has to breathe through lungs if the w is an animal that animal must be a cold blooded animal only and if the animal is said to be z means that animal should be a cold blooded animal and as well as it has uh, it should have a hollow bones so for this type of question you have to go through the option from the option only we will find out the answer yes what is the first option yes option a x can be an animal that has wings so which animal will have wings it's a bird will bird breathe through lungs yes will bird have do do birds have a hollow bones yes so x is correct what about z z can be an animal that breathe through spiracles so now check what is z here yes z is a cold blooded animal and hollow bones uh, so which uh, cold blooded animal has hollow bones no cold blooded animal have a hollow bones that means what reptiles and amphibians are cold blooded animal uh, do that uh, do the reptile have a hollow bones no so z is wrong and you are, and we all know uh, that a uh, cold blooded animal that means amphibian reptiles will breathe through a spiracles it is correct only but it don't have a hollow bones so it is wrong next option b why can be an animal having outer body covering of scales yes if it is already said why is a cold blooded animal yes some amphibians having uh, have some amphibians having outer body covering with scales yes it is true and you are, we all know that uh, amphibians or reptiles or whatever it is it will breathe through lungs also so why according to according to the letter y it is correct only but what is what about x x can be an animal that has outer body covering of a fur, of fur. so animal uh, which is having a fur on, on on their outer body don't have a hollow bones right so x is also wrong option b is wrong and option a is also wrong then c w can be an animal that lays eggs yes amphibians a fish all are will lay eggs and some reptiles also will lay eggs yes so w is correct here then what about y y can be an animal that has hair on its body no so which reptile and which amphibians have a hair on its body no animal uh, no reptile and no uh, amphibians uh, do have a hair on its body hence option y is also wrong here right then d that means sorry uh, hence uh, option c is also wrong here then we have rest uh, we have the option only one d so it must be the right answer so we will check it out why can be an animal whose young ones breathe through gills yes it's a fish and there is no animal as z yes it is true only because no cold blooded animal will have a hollow bones it is it is true option d is the right answer 